come guys so uh, let's solve in this uh, legal problem uh, so hopefully you guys subscribe to my channel okay so 1779 uh, find the nearest point that has the same x or y right coordinate okay so this problem is uh, actually easy so you are given two uh, integers x and y which represent your current location or cartesian grid right so just uh, like elementary school uh, coordinate x and y Right, and each and you are given uh, uh, some points which point i a i b i a i is just uh, i mean x y b i is just a y a point is valid if you share the same x coordinate and the same y coordinate is your location so basically you have a location uh, basically you have some location right and you have a fixed point and uh, you are giving a lot so basically you have x y and you get some points and then you can uh and the, the valid point only comes the valid point uh, only uh, must share the same x or same y and you are defined a, a smallest you need to calculate all the valid of smallest uh, all the valid points get this Manhattan distance and after that uh, you are you need to choose the small, smallest index although if there is no valid point you return minus one right so the, and then also the Manhattan distance is defined to be ABS x minus x1 plus the AB absolute value y1 minus y2. So the idea is the uh, like idea is this, right? So basically you have a lot of points, and then you first need to get the what is the value point, and then calculate the Manhattan distance or value point, and then choose the smallest index. Okay, so for example, uh, uh, this guy, right? So who, who, uh, which guy is a value point, right? So one two is not three one is a value point. Uh, three one is a value point, and uh, two four is a value point. 2, 3 is not, 4, 4 is a valid point. So you have three valid points. And uh, which one has uh, the, the Manhattan distance? Uh, the 2, 4 and the 4, 4 has the smallest Manhattan distance because their Manhattan distance are both 1. But 2, 4 is the small in smallest index, right? So return 2. Oh, so this, so this problem, uh, what I want to write is that uh, I first define the Manhattan distance to be infinity. Okay, so I oh, I do not calculate all the I cal for each value point I I get. If the value if the Manhattan distance which is uh, less than what I get original, then I I will just replace it. So idea is that for I in range length point, I, I first get the iterate list right. Uh, by the way, I define index to be minus one. So if the point uh, is valid, that means that the point uh, x coordinate is the same as xx, or the point coordinate is the same as uh, y is the same as our y. Then I calculate the Manhattan distance, right? At common num. If the num is less than our original Manhattan distance, then I just replace num to be Manhattan and the index choose i. So this less is very crucial part, right? Because I uh I was forced to return the smallest index, right? But from this algorithm, anything which is the if if your Manhattan distance is the same as before, then you will not you will not get replaced. So this less will will force to force us to just get the smallest index. So basically, if uh, you see the new number, which is smaller than your original Manhattan distance, then you just replace it, and then you choose i to be index. Then you just return index. And if there's no value point, then finally you will just default to return minus one. So this is a very cute algorithm. It didn't use a lot of memory. Uh, you only, you only always only remember the one Manhattan distance and the index. So this is the constant memory algorithm. And, al and also it's a linear, right? And then you can prove that the linear must be the smallest. So from a complexity of view, this is the the the, the I, I should say from a complexity of view, this is a very fast algorithm. And basically I think it's the the yeah, the quickest. Okay, I will see you guys in the next videos.